All right, guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Bad Seed, with another video this week. It's two in about, what, three or four days. I had none in two months, and then all of a sudden I've got two in a couple of days. I don't know. I haven't been well of late. I am starting to get a bit better, so my throat is starting to uh, feel better, and my voice is starting to come good. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I hope I can understand what I'm saying this time. But uh, anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about today is Call of Duty or Battlefield, Battlefront, Halo, those sort of games. And we all know Halo are kind of doing this already, is basically giving away their map packs for free, basically to everybody who owned the game. Now you're probably thinking, well, why would they do that? It's a lot of money, the 60 bucks, 70 bucks for, you know, a season pass. It's like buying the game again. Yeah, but that's fair enough. But the only thing it, the only thing it does, and I thought about this for a while, is that it does segregate the playing base. Because uh, a lot of people don't buy the season pass. You know, obviously a lot of people do. So you've got this, you've got this situation where you've got players in the DLC map packs section of the uh, playlists, and you've got the, the players who can't afford or just don't want to buy map packs playing in um, in the uh, the standard playlists or the standard maps. Now, uh, and look, they make a lot of money off microtransactions. You know, with Call of Duty making, I think it was, from what I remember, it was like over four billion dollars worth in the last sort of 12 to 18 months just in microtransactions and supply drops alone. So, and I just think, you know, to keep their player base, you know, happier, and there's a lot of negativity around at the moment, especially with microtransactions across a lot of games, it's not just them, you know, but uh, Halo did the right thing by, you know, basically all their DLC was free, which was awesome, yeah, but they made a lot of money off the, off the rec packs, you know, things for Warzone and, you know, uh, cosmetic items for the, the arena mode and multiplayer modes and stuff like that, which is a really good idea. You know, they made a lot of money uh, doing it that way. So I could see, you know, with Halo doing it, I could see Call of Duty or Activision themselves, uh, maybe even Battlefront, Battlefield, yeah, sort of going down this uh, path as well. Uh, just so, the, the best thing it does is it doesn't separate the player base. So you haven't got people scattered all over different playlists, at different DLCs and map packs. You've got everybody basically in one area and you're not struggling to find games. Now, it's a bit more evident at the moment because, you know, Infinite Warfare being probably the lowest selling uh, new COD of, you know, of, of ever, of ever, I suppose you could say. Uh, I do love the game, as you guys know, but I do find it hard to find games as well, especially when a new DLC drops. I'll jump on and I'll, I find it very hard to find a game. Uh, not all the time, it's just, you know, some of the time. And it kind of sucks. So, but I know, and I'll go into the standard modes where people know the maps. So, you know, th these people don't have the season passes. And it, I could have find no problem in finding a game in the regular shipped maps. So I'd love to see them just basically give the maps out away for free. Just filter them quite regularly, a bit more regular than the other maps in the standard uh, rotations. And everybody would get to play them. Everybody's in the same area. And you're still making a lot of money off microtransactions, you know, supply drops, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, it'll just keep the player base happy, especially with, like I said, Infinite Warfare being a low seller. Now, they may not do it with World War II. I don't think they'll do it with World War II. You know, may never do it at all, but I can't see them doing anything like this for World War II because it's back to your traditional boots to the ground. There's a whole heap of hype for it, like I said in my last video. Um, so they may just wait it out and see uh, what they what they want to do with, um, with the, the following game when um, Treyarch do their next game. So who knows what they'll do, who knows. But I just think it'll be a good idea to basically give away season passes now. Or get do away with season passes. Just do the just do the map packs for free. Drop in extra microtransactions and, and, and guns and camos and supply drops. And the ones who want to buy all that stuff will buy it. And, but the ones who want to enjoy the game for what it is aren't struggling to find games. But like I said, it may not happen, obviously won't happen with World War II because that game's going to have some, some really serious numbers. Whether it'll be 2009, 2010 numbers again, I do not know, but the hype is there. Maybe the next one after that will be super hype. But I would just love to see, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'd just love to see them do away with the season passes just to keep the, the player numbers high and keep the percentages uh, of people in each playlist high as well because some playlists you know you got less than one percent people playing i don't even know why they they may as well just get rid of those playlists so people don't have to search them or search through them for games i just think that they should um they should do away with them and just have uh just 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 live off microtransactions they're obviously here to stay and like i said with call of duty making i think over what four billion or something this is the numbers i'm hearing uh over the last 12 18 months um they really need to charge for a season pass and keep people separated 
Uh, I don't think so. But um, anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think. Battlefield could do this as well. Battlefront, Halo are already doing it. They're sort of leading the way with this. Uh, and maybe like other games, smaller games, will eventually do it as well. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.